Horror story confessions from amusement park employees. Some are hilarious, some are terrifying, and for others, there are just no words. Anyone who has ever worked at a theme park will definitely understand. Gross and scary. While working at Disney World, one employee witnessed a drunk man hoist Snow White over his shoulder and try to carry her away. Way beyond awkward. An employee in the kitchen at Cinderella's Castle in Disney World once witnessed a father stand up and prepare to give a speech during dinner one night. He raised his glass and announced his wife of 15 years had been cheating on him. He then grabbed his kids, paid the server, and left. His wife remained at the table in the middle of the shocked restaurant. The lazy apparently is describing their parenting. One water park employee said a family once left their baby in the lazy river alone. The definition of impatient. During a meet and greet at Disney World, one mother climbed a tree and swung into the middle of another family's photo op. Apparently, she just couldn't wait to meet the beast. Are platform flip-flops still a thing? One adult rider was 6 foot 11 tall, and the ride had a height limit of 6 foot 6. After an employee explained this to the man, he offered to take off his shoes. He was wearing flip-flops. That's not how it works. An employee told one father that his son was too short to sit on the edge seat of a ride. He then explained that although his son was short, he's mature for his age, so it was okay. Karma? One employee had to explain to a man that he was too big to go on a certain ride. After another attempt to fasten the safety belt, the man got angry, yelled at the employee, and said he didn't want to ride that particular ride anyway. In his attempt to jump off the ride and storm off, the man got stuck in his seat. A little harsh. Because character costumes are so thick, the employees have to take a lot of breaks during meet and greets, especially when it's hot outside. One mother was so upset about missing her chance to meet Bert and Ernie that she screamed at her two-year-old for walking too slow and causing them to be late. She then yelled, you can't meet them, this is bull blank, and then punched Bert in the face. At least the costume is pretty padded. All the poop. Apparently there's a lot of it at amusement parks. Kids would poop on rides, adults would poop on rides. It was a daily poop fest.